The centerpiece of our tool set is the software MPLAB Integrated Development Environment, or IDE. MPLAB IDE has enjoyed many years of use and evolution, tracking Microchip's expanding catalog of microcontrollers and digital signal controllers. One of the most popular elements of MPLAB is the software simulator, MPLAB Sim. This component, like the MPLAB IDE, is free. The simulator runs on your PC to simulate the actions of the various PIC and DSPIC microcontrollers. You can verify your software routines execute as designed and debug, test, and inspect your code. MPLAB Sim helps you optimize your application with timing tools, trace tools, and various graphical analyzers. We'll cover the basic elements of the simulator in this web seminar, including how to configure MPLAB to use MPLAB Sim as the current debugger, how to run your code in MPLAB Sim halting at a breakpoint, how to single step through your code, how to set watch points on data variables in your code, how to run and halt your code, how to use a stimulus to simulate external inputs to your hardware, how to use the debug variable to make conditional code execution while debugging, how to insert fprintf statements in your code to monitor the executing routines, how to measure the execution time of your code, how to record code as it executes, capturing its history in a buffer to be reviewed. You should already be familiar with MPLAB IDE before going through this seminar. You might want to watch the Introduction to MPLAB seminar first. The MPLAB IDE desktop has all the standard Windows features, menus, toolbars with icons, and a status bar at the bottom. To select the simulator, select the debugger pull-down menu and scroll to Select Tool. A submenu pops up. Scroll down to select MPLAB Sim. Now the status bar shows MPLAB Sim as the current debugging tool. MPLAB deals with applications as projects. Projects are the source files that are used to build the application along with compilers, assemblers, and linkers. In this project are three files, main.c, delay.c, and an assembly file, int-devices.s. All will be compiled using the MPLAB C compiler and its tool suite for the DSPIC family of digital signal controllers. But this process is the same for the other families of microchip microprocessors. For more information on setting up a project, see the Introduction to MPLAB seminar referenced earlier. When all the source code is correctly written and the project configured properly, click the Build icon on the toolbar to compile the files. If the project builds with no errors, the output window will show Build Succeeded. Open a source file for editing or debugging by double-clicking on the file name in the project window. After a project successfully builds, position the cursor on the desired line and click the right mouse button to bring up a menu to set a breakpoint. In the source file, the breakpoint is shown by the red symbol with the letter B. Pressing the Run icon starts the simulation, stopping at the breakpoint. The green arrow on top of the red B shows the current program counter location at the breakpoint set in the function main. Pressing the step icon single steps one line in the code.
Watch windows inspect variables in your code. Select the watch window from the view menu. Use the right pull down to see symbols. Select the variables to watch. Then press the add symbol button to enter them in the watch window list. Now when the program is halted or stepped, the variables will show changed values in red. Pressing the Run icon lets the processor continue running the code from the current breakpoint. The status bar at the bottom disappears and is replaced by a running progress bar. Selecting the Halt icon stops program execution at the current program counter location, just as if it encountered a breakpoint at that instruction in the code. In this code, after pressing single step, the green arrow does not advance. The code is in a while loop, waiting for a switch on port pin RD7 to go high. 